Hey there guys. Um, ever since I uh, did my alcohol stove video, I've got a lot of great feedback and it kind of got me to thinking, you know, what other kind of uh, portable stoves are out there that I could make uh, that might be of some use. Um, and if anything, just uh, maybe something fun to make with some scrap. Well, I went looking around and I had this old uh, galvanized fence post. So I figure um, I'm gonna try to make basically a rocket stove. Uh, out of this, but kind of like a naked rocket stove. So a lot of the rocket stoves like a stove tech have bricks or something around them to, to create that thermal mass to kind of keep the heat in. And uh, that's great, but I just want to see, you know, just as a project and kind of help me learn about the rocket stove, uh, the chimney effect and everything, I want to see if I can make it out of this, this pipe, uh, maybe some of these uh, bolts as legs, and then uh, some uh, sheet metals, a little extra scrap sheet metal that I have uh, to make kind of like a grate at the top of that. So like you could boil water or cook some, something on a pan. So anyway, uh, let's get to cutting and uh, see what we can come up with. All right. Well, the next thing we want to do after we've cut cut our pipe is sand this galvanizing off. Uh, we, we want it to just be bare steel. Uh, the galvanizing can be toxic when it gets heated up. Um, I don't think it'd be much of a problem, but it, it's also going to help uh, when I weld this, uh, this joint together, uh, when I put these uh, together like so. So let's go ahead and uh, get it well, uh, sanded off and, and then uh, we'll get to welding. All right, so we've got this all sanded down, uh, all the galvanizing off of it, and I just used some HVAC tape to tape this uh, in line before I, uh, I'm just gonna throw a couple tack welds here. I think it's not gonna really be exposed to that much heat, so I think uh, just a few little welds, and uh, you know, if it looks like it maybe needs some more, maybe I'll JB weld some of these joints, but uh, I don't wanna have a big fat bead here, I just wanna have it uh, kinda look nice, just a few little tack welds. So let's get that done now. So the welding's done. I got my tack welds on here. Uh, like I said, I'm not a pro at, at these things, so they're not the best, but uh, I think these tack welds will hold up uh, fine for this. It's not gonna be super intense heat, um, or I don't know, maybe it will be. <laughs> but anyway, so I got a little, uh, some markings just to kind of get uh, my centers and, and uh, some little measurements on here, uh, because the next step is going to be uh, putting some legs on this, and my plan is to uh, use some JB weld uh, and put some nuts on there to where I can be able to thread like a little uh, a little bolt or something on there. So uh, you know, basically, I'll I'll have legs like that. You know, maybe a couple on the side or two on the side and and one on the back. Anyway, I also want to point out uh, when I was welding, I figured I had a little bit extra pipe, so I figured I'd make a, a couple more and just try different uh, experiments. And then I had some thinner pipe. Uh, I figured, uh, you know, we'll we'll see how this guy looks too, and and I'll maybe try a little different uh, leg thing there. So anyway, uh, let's get uh, these legs put on and and see how they turn out.
Got all the sanding, cutting, uh, everything done. Um, we've got the grates put on here. Uh, these are collapsible grates. I'm showing you the my least favorite one first, but basically just some sheet metal. I cut some notches in there. Um, just how you do anything. That's how I've done all these. And then I just JB welded some nuts there and then used some carriage bolts as legs. <laughs> like I said, uh, this one's kind of funny looking, but uh, you know what? Uh, I tested uh, two of them out and they actually work all right. Um, Probably not as good as a true rocket stove, but you know what? I just wanted to uh, kind of try something. So this is the skinnier one. Uh, again, this has got the same uh, uh, little nuts and uh, uh, I just had some little pieces of bolts that I had cut off a long time ago. So that's that guy. We'll set it here. And this one's kind of my favorite one. This is, uh, what uh, again, this is just a collapsible grate on top, just set in notches. And uh, I wanted to try to make this one modular, so what I did is I, Put some fold up legs on it um, you know it's it's probably not going to be practical to take backpacking or whatever uh, maybe more car camping just as a novelty but you know it's uh it's kind of a little project i wanted to uh play with uh for this uh, uh this kind of deal just to learn a little bit more about rocket stoves i want to try a couple more but anyway let's take these outside and uh and put some wood in them and, and, and see how they work all right guys um Basically, we've got all these guys going, um, and they're doing really well. Although I did learn one thing, uh, you should let JB weld cure a little bit longer. Um, this guy over here, I don't know if you can see that. Um, I had to douse him out. He fell over. The uh, the legs came up, came off. Um, anyway, I only let it cure for about eight hours, and it's supposed to be 15 to 24. So it says it can withhold almost 600 degree temperatures. So. Um, it shouldn't be a problem, but anyway, let me show you these these other two. This guy's going good. Um, he's got uh, he's got pretty good heat coming out the top, and then I've got the other one um, almost boiling some water. So I'll show you that right now. Let's get up close here so you can see. Not quite boiling. Uh, my alcohol stove actually uh, boils it a little quicker, but like I said, this is kind of an experiment. Anyway, this guy is my favorite one, so I wasn't too sad about the other one breaking. But anyway, don't uh, <laughs> don't use JB Weld if you're going to be uh, build one of these, or at least let it cure. Anyway, I've just been feeding those in, and it's been doing pretty good. I don't know if you can see those those bubbles. Not quite a boil. Uh, there's the guy where the legs fell off. I kind of suspected that might have happened, but anyway, this guy, he cured about 12 hours because I did him a little earlier, and his legs are, are doing fine. As you can see, there's a little discoloration in the pipe from the heat, but uh, anyway, this is, it was a fun little experiment, and I, I think this stove will actually uh, stay with us and maybe get used for some other things. So anyway, thanks for watching. Here's a little extra footage just to show you how the draft is, is uh, pulling that up through the, uh, the top pipe. And you can see the flames coming up over there. Anyway, overall uh, doing pretty good. We'll feed some of this a little bit more in and get that water boiling.